Welcome to the final video in the 4D animation tutorial series for Lumion. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the most intricate but powerful 4D animation tool, the Advanced Move. With this tool, we take complete control over every aspect of our animation. Now, as I have done in the last video, I'm going to skip several steps covered in the last two videos to the point where I already have all my model broken up and imported into Lumion. I have even organized them into their own layers, which I would highly recommend in order to keep this more organized and manageable. As you might have noticed, that is my mass move roundabout tutorial in the background. Although the cars might be a little too distracting, I thought I could capitalize on the time I put into creating that scene for reuse in another animation. There are many pieces in this animation. Using the layers tool, we can make this easier by only having the pieces we want to start with showing. Like I demonstrated in the layers tutorial, we will need to have our spacing calculated and set up before starting. As it demonstrates the steps taken to animate these first few pieces, I want to explain how this process can be a little counterintuitive at first. Our pieces need to end up exactly in place how we set them for accuracy. In order to do this, we first need to create the keyframe that we want to end on aligned to the position we need, then set the previous location to animate from. Now, I've discovered a trick to this. We need to either move, scale, raise, or lower, or rotate in order for Lumion to record a keyframe, and we don't want to mess up our object's position. Using any of the rotate tools, we can force our object to snap to its original rotation, unchanging its position, and creating the ending keyframe we need. After this, we can choose to either set a beginning keyframe under the ground so the object rises into place, or from the sky falling into place, or any other way you could imagine animating this. The important thing is that we know that it's going to end exactly where we need it to be for our animation to be complete. After creating all of our keyframes on this first part, we can watch our animation progress unfold. Now I'm going to speed up some of the footage of me applying keyframes to all of the individual pieces in this animation. These are all following the same basic steps we just went over. Now I recommend changing the animation up on a couple pieces as well so we don't have all the pieces coming up from the ground because this can just get repetitive and uninteresting. Now I wanted to point out again that having your model organized into layers makes this process so much easier. Since all of our pieces share the same origin point, now I started with just the first few pieces but as I go along I will turn off the layers that I've already animated and keep as few objects on as possible, setting this up since it can get so confusing because we have so many pieces in this animation. Do double check your progress every once in a while however, turning all the layers back on just to preview. Now I have all of my animation all set up and so I'm going to double check my progress and play through the animation to make sure everything came in smoothly. Now as I'm checking it out, I can see that a couple pieces are poking out from the ground in their initial position. And we just need to make sure that we move that just low enough so we don't see it. And now we're just refining the last couple points of the animation. And I wanted to share a couple other hints about using the advanced move. First off, I recommend using as few keyframes as possible. Controlling the animation too tightly can cause unwanted jerky animations if we pack too many points close together. Keep it simple. Another big thing to keep in mind is that the total number of seconds on the advanced move bar needs to always be higher than your total clip length or else it'll repeat back to the first frame and totally ruin the effect. You get 99 seconds with the advanced move maximum. Also be careful with the offset bar. Only adjust it after all keyframes are set. Okay so that sure was a lot of work but the ability to take control of our entire animation with the advanced move Locks limitless potential and what custom animation we need to add to our clip. Again, try copying and pasting our advanced move keyframes we set up to some other clips and camera paths to find which angle capture it best. And with that, we have completed the last section of the 4D animation tutorial series. You can now create building sequence animations using the clip plane, sky drop, layers, and advanced move tool. And don't be afraid to use multiple or all of them in one 4D animation. Thank you so much for watching and I hope these videos inspire you guys to produce amazing things within Lumion. Many more videos are to come. Until next time.